Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be working on my second project for Story Kit Crush using the Connect Story Kit from Allie Edwards. So today's story is all about a special connection my daughter has with her grandfather. We call him in our house, we call him Tito. So Isabella and Tito, the relationship that they have together. My plan for this spread is to use this full page photo as the main base of my project. And then on top of it, I have this sheet of clear plastic transparency that I'm going to cut down to the same size. And then on top, I'm going to layer up a whole bunch of heart shapes that will just go across the spread. And then when you open it up, the back of them, I will have backed so I can add my journaling to the back side by hand. So that is my goal here. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put you on fast forward while I get this spread put together. And then once we have everything done, we will slow back down in order to close out for today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so jumping into this project for today, the first thing I'm going to do is grab over my hole punch and go ahead and hole punch my photo. That's just going to help me to know, I guess, where I want to put things just to make sure that I'm not going to end up hole punching them in a spot where I don't want them to go. Once I have that done, I am going to grab this transparency sheet. These I got from my local Michael store. I actually found them close to the registers and they came in a giant pack and they weren't very expensive because I believe that they are what um, what companies or what people are are maybe hand making or or what do I want to say? They're they're creating the face shields out of them. So you can find them in Michael's because uh, now people are making face shields, but they also can be used for projects like this. So just a heads up that that is where I found my transparency sheets. So I cut this down into the same size as my photo and I layered it right on top. Um, and then I also made sure to hole punch that as well just so I didn't have to worry about it later. One of the things I wanted to do with this spread was to create some additional hearts so that the whole middle of this section or whole middle of the photo can be taken up with different hearts. So I have the pattern that's got the large chain links on it. It's kind of a gray on white sort of pattern. And I traced two of those transparency hearts onto it. So there's a larger one and a smaller one. And then I'll go ahead and cut those out. So this is going to give me some non-transparent hearts to layer up on this spread. The other thing I will go ahead and cut out is this heart right here that says this connection has my heart. This was the story spark for this entire project and for the idea of trimming out a bunch of hearts and layering them up on my spread. So that one's going to go directly in the middle right in between Isabella and her grandpa. And then I'm just going to take the rest of these and layer them up behind. If you have this kit and you've never purchased any of Allie's kits before, the hearts, the plastic hearts, have a film on top of them. So just make sure you take that film off before you permanently adhere those down. It's not going to make the biggest of differences if you forget, but you know, just as a FYI, there is a plastic film on top. So I'm going to add one of the transparent hearts on each side of this connection has my heart and one of the non-transparent cardstock ones as well. I like the variation that this gives having some transparent and not and some that is not transparent on here. And then my idea is to go ahead and get these all adhered down. I will also add on these chipboard pieces, but that's going to be one of the last things I do because I um I want to do some journaling on the back of this first, which you'll see as we get into that portion. So I didn't want there to be a bunch of varying heights at this point. So those will go on there. They just will go on at the very end of me putting this spread together. Once I have everything where I like it, the next thing I'm going to do is start adhering some of the stuff down. So the tricky thing with the transparent hearts is that if you add adhesive on top of them or underneath them, I should say, then you will see the <laughs> adhesive. And I didn't want that to happen. So I'm going to take the cardstock ones and add adhesive onto those and then lay them down on top of the rest of the hearts. So now the heart that says this connection has my heart is connected to one of the transparent hearts and then some of the cardstock ones as well. 
So that's just my like sort of trick to go ahead and get these lightly adhered together in order to make this one big like cluster that I can move around all at once. So I will do that here and then once I have them adhered on the front side like this I'll flip it over and add a little bit of extra adhesive on the back where those sections overlap. So that's going to make this easy for me to pick up and transport and do some different things with before it's permanently adhered down onto the plastic. So one of the things that I wanted to do was create a template for the backside so I could add my journaling and, it, and have it cover up the sections that are not transparent. So I pulled over a piece of white cardstock. I'm just going to take this heart cluster, add it to the top here, and trace around all of the non-transparent portions, so all of the cardstock hearts. It does mean that I have to pick up some of the plastic pieces, which you'll see me do here in a little bit, in order to get around those because I don't necessarily mind, um, I don't, I don't, I didn't want the transparent part to have cardstock behind it, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see it here. I will, um, do my best to try and you know guess where those lines go because I do want it to line up decently well. And then once I have my template, I will go ahead and cut this out. It's not going to be a perfect match. So once I have it all cut out, I can line it up with the original and just trim off the excess where I don't want that to be. You'll see that here in a second. Like a couple of the um, portions at the top of the hearts are a little bit too big. So I'll just take my scissors and trim that off in order to clean it up just a little bit. Once I have it all cleaned up, the next thing I'll do is go ahead and adhere these onto the front and back side of the transparency. Um, I will like let you know full disclosure that I wish I would have added this cluster a little bit lower on the plastic. My original intention was to be able to see my father-in-law and my daughter's faces and I I just wasn't even thinking and I threw it directly in the middle of the plastic piece and I cover up I just cover up a bunch of them and I wish that it wasn't that way but it's okay I am embracing imperfections and it still looks beautiful so it's okay it'll be okay you know so no worries if you accidentally stick something down where you didn't want it to go it is a hopefully happy mistake <laughs> so we're going to take this piece now now that I've got the backside template done and I'm going to add adhesive where the um, non-transparent pieces are I also added a couple of staples using my tiny attacher to the cluster as well so that's going to add a little bit more stabilization even for keeping everything uh, right there together. Then I'm going to take my tape and I chose to use my score tape for this because it is extra sticky and I don't have to worry about it being pulled up. So you'll see that when I place it down here, I will be, I will realize like, oh shoot, I meant to put this lower and um, I'll try to pull it back up and it's definitely, definitely stuck down. So whatever. So there you go. I like cover up Izzy's face. <laughs> whoops it's okay though it's okay because what is cool about it is when I get to embellishing the actual photo um in my original design idea um the embellishments are covered up by the hearts so instead you're actually going to be able to see the embellishments on the photo through the transparency so it, it's it's fine it's whatever but we are stuck down there permanently. So now what I'll do is turn it over and we'll just stick down the template now on the back. Um, I believe I will add my lines first because I don't want to mess that up. And then this is where I am going to put these extra embellishments. So I've got the word connect. That was the plastic word there. And then I've also got... Um, the chipboard piece that says getting together. So I really liked the combination of those two titles together. I just kind of finagled the title so it's right underneath those hearts and then I will staple it into place. Um, and the chipboard piece that goes underneath it is just gonna go right there. I like it. I think it all makes sense with the story and the colors and it's just a really pretty it's just a really pretty um, spread. I really, really like this one. It's simple and yeah, I just really like it. So connect word goes on there. Uh, the chipboard piece goes underneath. So now my photo is just super lightly embellished. And then the back side of this is where we're going to add my journaling. 
um, I started to adhere it down and then thought better of it. So I stuck it down onto the extra piece of cardstock there and we're just going to use my ruler to add some lines. This is the precision uh, pen from Ali Edwards. I like this one. I also like the one from scrapbook.com. They're probably my two favorite just like journaling pens. And then once I have those lines on there, I will stick it down onto the back of the transparency and then I'll add my actual journaling into those lines. Just talking about the connection that Izzy has with her grandfather and uh, just how they absolutely adore each other. It's the cutest thing. It's the absolute cutest thing. So um, Izzy's really lucky to have a lot of grandparents that just adore her and Jonah. And yeah, it's it's really special. So um, last thing I'm going to do here is add on these chipboard hearts and then I will also staple down the very outside edges of those hearts onto the transparency. That way we are for sure on there and we are going nowhere. And uh, that is pretty much going to finish up this one. So we'll just bring it back over and we'll slow you guys back down. All right, you guys, that finishes my second spread with this Connect Kit. And I really love the way that this one turned out. So we've got this heart pattern here on the front of the transparency. On the back, I have my journaling and then the photo of Isabella and my father-in-law with some just light embellishing on there. So I think this one turned out really lovely. And I will add this into Izzy's story album since this is a story about her and her grandpa. I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing this spread come together. If you have, I would love a thumbs up down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're there if you haven't already so you can see all the content I have coming your way. I will be back again next week with a story project on Monday and my project life on Wednesday and then another story kit crush on Friday. So I hope to see you guys then. Until then, have a great weekend. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye, friends.